you're trying to get into the tech industry you're trying to learn how to code but you're actually doing it the wrong way let me go in and break it down for you guys what is it that you're doing wrong and give you guys the solution let's get started somehow you got interested in this career somehow you found out they paying a lot of money people are getting higher with no degrees and you say well i want to become a front-end developer i want to become a full stack developer right i hear that those are the high paying jobs and you probably went online and searched front-end developer roadmap right you probably found something like this and you're like oh my god i'm overwhelmed right and maybe you went back to youtube and you say well let me search again let me try to see if maybe there's an influencer that can teach me how to become a front-end developer right and gives me a roadmap but again all of these roadmaps in reality are long-term roadmaps and this is where everybody's going wrong I want to go in and break down alternative ways for you to get into the industry that actually makes sense and actually work. First of all, all of you guys are trying to become senior software engineers, senior front end developer, senior full stack developer, because if you try to tackle all of this and you're saying, Hey, I'm going to learn all of the skills at home. You're basically trying to become a senior developer. And sometimes people say, well, you know, you need a lot of skills to get hired. But it's not just skills that you need to get a position as a front end engineer, right? Software engineer, full stack developer. It's not just that. You also need something else that you guys don't have, which is experience. You have no experience. Okay. And this is where you guys are going wrong. It's like somebody trying to get a PhD online, right? And trying to do it on their own and basically show up to a company and say, well, I've never actually built anything for a company. I've never actually worked for anyone, but Hey, I deserve to get $200,000. Does that make sense to you guys? I mean, this is just logical stuff, right? We could even take it even more simpler. Imagine you have a million dollar home project. Hey, let's say you're rich and you want to go and get your house built. Are you going to hire a contractor that has never built a house for a million dollar project, or you're going to go in and hire somebody that has actually done this before? Again, you're paying a lot of money for this individual to come in and not mess it up. So you're not going to hire the guy that basically just knows how to do the tiles on, <laughs> on the front lawn. You're going to go in and get somebody that really knows how to build this thing. And that's just how companies work too. Okay. So again, without experience, you're not going to get those high paying jobs as your first job. So you staying at home and trying to tackle all of the skills is actually the wrong way. Okay. I've seen it plenty of times here. I've been teaching people since, you know, 2017, helping people get into the tech industry. And I can tell you, this is the wrong way. Because without experience, it becomes very difficult for you guys to start getting those high paying jobs. How do you get experience if nobody wants to hire you? And this is the problem that a lot of people face. They go in they take online courses, they go to boot camps, they go to, you know, programs online, etc., And they try to tackle all of this. And it does work for certain individuals with certain backgrounds, but that doesn't work for everybody. For every time that you see somebody that shows up on the internet and says, Hey, I just got my first job for $150,000. I'm telling you right now, there's thousands of people that's still outside waiting. Like, well, I can't even get a job. The industry is too saturated. I got 20 more projects and I can't get hired, right? This happens all the time. That's the norm. Because again, they don't have experience now because this one guy got one job, right? That doesn't mean that everybody else is getting a job. You're tackling this the wrong way. Let's get into it. The right way is to actually crawl before you walk and walk before you run. It's a process you got to go through. We all have to go through it. Okay. We can't skip the process. Yes. We don't need to go to college to get a job. We have to understand like, yo, we're not going to college but we're going to have to put in the work to be able to get those top paying jobs. That's just how it is. There's no way to skip the process. This is where you go in and you get taken advantage by boot camps and by universities and you know, random guys popping up to you and tell you, Hey man, I got a $5,000 course to teach you JavaScript. This is how you get taken advantage because you're trying to skip the process. Don't try to skip the process. Go with it. The right way is to go in and every time that you learn a skill, find out what type of roles you actually qualify for. You don't need to learn every single thing that's in here. 
to get a job. You could literally get a job with this. And you might say HTML and CSS. There's no way. Yes, there is a way. <laughs> And that's the right way. Every single time that you learn a new skill, right? You learn how to do HTML, CSS. You learn how to take a design and build it into a website. Guess what? That's a skill that people want, right? Now, all you need is just a couple of extra skills to do the job. And that's where we come in and we try to help you out at codingphase.com. But again, there's jobs out here that you can get with just HTML, CSS, for example, HTML email developer, right? This is an associate developer email operations, 70,000 to 75,000. Yes, it's not 150. Yes, it's not $200,000 job, but guess what? You got to crawl before you walk, before you get to run. That's the process. This is what a lot of people is trying to skip. And if you try to skip it, this is where you go wrong. Okay. You have to build experience. You have to understand that no one wants to pay somebody top dollar even if they have the skills right because you have never done this before why should i pay you 150 200 thousand dollars three hundred thousand dollars when you have never done this before you don't even know how to work with a team you have no idea what it is to work with designers have uh, project management right you have no idea what that is yet okay you know how to code you learn how to code at home okay but you need to go in and get your first job that's the first thing you want to do. So again, you have things like email developer, right? You have things like web producer, web master. There's a lot of different jobs you guys can get into, but you need to have the right skills and have the right approach. Now, as far as like, what is the process is very simple. You have to learn the skills, right? Learn the skills needed to get the job nothing more nothing less i see a lot of people trying to learn too much without ever getting their first job and guess what that's the wrong way you're not going to be able to get those top dollar jobs without experience so learn the skills that you need for example as an email developer what do you actually need you need to learn html css you need to know how to use css media queries you need to know how to be comfortable with laying out designs or laying out the layout through html tables you need to learn how to test your emails you need to learn the email service providers right so as far as the technical skills all you really need to know is just html and css everything else is pretty simple to learn right especially when you have the right instructor that can teach you that so once you learn those skills from there you get to go and build a portfolio that's targeted just for that specific role give them everything that they want give them everything that they need for example we could go to delo.dev shout out to john de lorenzo one of our students of codingphase.com who got hired and i use his portfolio as an example because it's pretty much exactly what you need hey this is who i am this is my name this is the role that i'm going for guess what these are the skills that i have for this role this guy has way more skills than this, but he's not posting 50,000 different skills. He's giving you exactly what you need for the person to know and say, Hey, this is the type of skills that we got for this type of role, HTML, CSS, responsive design, Photoshop, Litmus, MailChimp, etc. right? Give them an about section about yourself. And then from there, go in and give them exactly what they're asking for. You're going to be doing emails. So give them emails. Okay. And they need to be responsive. All right. Okay. We're not wasting time. You're not wasting your own time trying to learn a million things. You're not trying to waste the other person's time. Who's looking to hire you. You are giving them exactly what they are asking for. So again, yes, you can definitely do this, but you have to go in and do the process. Again, we go back to the message that I just gave you guys, right? Going back to what I said, crawl before you walk, and then you get to run get those roles that's going to help you build experience for example html email content editor web producer etc and then from there we go into the next roles the next roles is going to be now front end developer junior front end developer junior software engineer uh junior web developer right junior uh php developer junior node.js developer right now we're going in in a process
process. This type of roles here is gonna pay you anywhere from 50 to $80,000. This type of roles right here is gonna pay you from 80 to 95,000 to $100,000 if you're pushing it, depending where you live. And then from here, when you get to run, this is when you start applying for the mid-level positions, the senior level positions. Now we're talking about $100,000 plus. This is the real process. Yes, you're not gonna go to college, but what you're going to do is you're gonna actually basically go through college by actually working, right? This is a journey that no one tells you. This whole uh, front-end developer roadmap, the full-stack developer roadmap, this is something that could take somebody a year, two years to learn. What's the point of you learning all of the skills at home, sucking on your thumb, and you're not actually making any money and not seeing any gains and any actually validation of that you're actually knowing the skills. You wanna feel good about this. You're learning to code, but you need to go in and go through the process. There's no point in learning all of the skills when you have no experience, because at the end, that's what's gonna stop you from getting those roles, even if you know what to do. It's very difficult uh, for anybody to get hired at a high paying position without no experience. So the goal again is to teach you guys the skills that you need to get the job, build an attractive portfolio where projects are relevant to the role that you're going for, right? We're not building to-do apps, we're not building little JavaScript games, we're actually building the things that you're gonna be doing on the job. If you're not having projects that are at the same level as something that you would do for a company, guess what? That's a bad portfolio, okay? Once you have that, that's guaranteed interviews. And once you have the right projects and the right skills, now it's about going to as many interviews as possible so you can go in and get the best deal for yourself, okay? And from there, once you have that, you're hired, okay? It's literally just as simple as that. Now, again, if you guys have never heard of what we do, guys, my name is Joe Santos, aka codingphase.com, right? You guys want to learn how to code. You want to come in. You want to get started, right? This is the platform that you guys want to come to. Learn to code. We don't teach coding as a hobby. We basically learn skills to either get a job or start freelancing or start building our own businesses as developers. If this is something you are interested in, click on the link on this video, click on the link in the description, click on the link on the uh, chat and guys, let's get started. All right. I'm gonna see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. When you click on those links, you're going to see a free training. Um, but again, if you're ready to go, you could come to codingphase.com directly and we'll take care of you. All right. Take care guys.